In today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about what the Jamstack is. It's all the rage these days, but do you all know what it actually is and what makes it up? Well, stick around because we're going to talk about it. Hello everyone, welcome to the Techopolis YouTube channel. My name is Taylor Arndt and I am one of the contributors of the Techopolis YouTube channel. I have another channel where I talk about technology topics from an accessibility perspective. I will put the link in the description if you are interested in subscribing to my channel. It is my mission to help people to become more accessible and more inclusive and get themselves online for the first time. Before I actually talk about the Jamstack though, I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page. I wanna talk about what program languages actually make up the web, meaning the fundamental things. The things that you're needing to have every website have, or else your website will be dysfunctional. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is the first one of those. And this is the part of your website where you declare all your markup. Headings, paragraphs, lists, links, all of those things. It's the semantic structure of your website. Very important. You cannot have a website without having HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. CSS is the next layer, and that is the visual styles. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's basically a way to tell your browser, hey, this is what I want the site to look like. Next, we have JavaScript, or JS. JavaScript, or JS, as the industry likes to call it, is the next level, and this is what makes your websites interactive. This is very important because we don't want static websites. We want them to actually have user interactivity. Now let's talk about Node.js. Node.js is the elephant in the room. And basically, this is a back-end JavaScript framework. So JavaScript itself is on the front end, but this is the back end. And this is what will allow you to make full-on web applications using the JavaScript programming language. And this is where the Jamstack comes in. The J stands for JavaScript. And that is the JavaScript that you are writing with either Node or Express, and we can talk about all those, but basically what they are is their frameworks of JavaScript. It's basically a way for you to write web applications using the JavaScript program language on the back end, instead of, for example, using PHP or Perl or Python. Next, we have Apache, and Apache is your server. So you have Nginx, or you can use Apache, but in Jamstack, the A stands for Apache. And Apache is basically a web server that will allow you to have your website be visible to others online. Next, we have M. And your M is your database. This is very important for storing different things for your websites. You pretty much always need a database, whether you're storing contact form entries or any of that kind of thing. And basically, what that allows you to do is allows you to keep data and allows you to store it in a database format. And there are two common databases that are used in the stack. We've got MySQL and MongoDB. So that is kind of an overview of the Jamstack. It's a really popular stack these days. A lot of people are using it. I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be producing more content on a frequent basis as well as subscribe to Taylor's Tech Talks if you like to hear my content. I look forward to talking with you guys later. I will see you soon and hopefully you all have a great day.